Hey crafters, this is Daphne with Dee Dee's Paperworks and I'm here with my first entry to my card sketch challenge and it's from Marla H. Now I saw her video and I thought the cards were really cute but she sent them to me and they are really, really cute. They're really good sketches. And I have the envelope here and I'll open it. And here is her first sketch. I don't know if you guys can see that very good. But she's got um, the space here. This is where the holes are going to be, so I can put it in my binder. She's got the A2 size card here. She has one panel coming this way. And I like how she put it so you could see it from behind, or it can either be in the forefront or the background, whichever. Um, but hers is done in the... Uh, um, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll show you in a minute. But anyway, she's got uh, one long panel here. She's got a square here. She's got a little uh, circle. Could be a button, a flower, whatever. And then your focal point, your focal image here, and your sentiment here. And here is the card that she did. Very, very cute. She's got a uh, crocheted doily under here and then the silk rose on the silk flower on the corner. And then she's got the um, sticker here, the flower sticker with a little embellishment there. And see, she did the panel in the back, but on the, on the picture, it can be in the forefront or it can be in the background. She did this on the background, but it's really versatile. So I really, really like this. And then she's got her sentiment here. Now she did, I'm not gonna open it because I don't wanna show her information. Um, she did put her um, information on the inside. Yes, she did. And that's perfect, perfect. This is really cute. So here's her second sketch. And it's again an A2 size card. She has a large panel on the background. She's got a square or it can even be a rectangle and it's kind of skewed with a tag in the front on top and then your sentiment here. And here is the card. This. I love the distressing on the edges. I like that look. A lot of times when I make a mistake, I'll just distress my, my paper. But this is really cute. I like the frayed uh, ribbon here and this, this very uh, vintage ephemera. And then the sentiment here. It is really, these cards are really, really cute and very true to the sketch. Very true to the sketches that she submitted. But again, this one you can put in the panel in the back, you can put in the forefront, or you can put in the background. This one is really, really nice. This is vintage, I, I love vintage. Um, and I like the color pink, soft pink. I love these colors right in here, the, the light greens, the, the creams, the pinks. Uh, but then I love fuchsia, I love blue, I, I love all colors. But this is very, very nice. And then she left them blank on the inside so that I can use them. And she, this is very important for me when you submit your cards that you put your information in the back so that when I go to pull out your sketch, if I use your sketch and I do a video on it, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to direct them back to your channel or your video that you did for this, whichever is easier. Um, I may just pick one that I really like, a project that you've done, and submit it to the, post that also, uh, link that also in the description so that they can get two uh, views of what you do, because I think there's so many talented ladies on YouTube. And um, So again, here are the two cards of the sketches that Marla H. submitted. Marla, thank you. These are really, really nice cards. They're really flexible and versatile sketches, and I think I'm going to be using them like really soon. Um, because I have some cards that I need to make up and one is for my husband and one is for my son and um, I can do both of those in a masculine card. So thanks Marla. I really appreciate you participating and uh, I encourage ladies who maybe think they don't have any ideas, give it a try. Um, I'd love to see you submit a challenge, a sketch to my challenge. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.